Good morning. Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to do a keto full day of eating. So let's go wake Rachel up right after this. We're gonna do a keto full day of eating. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos. Sometimes we do full day of eatings. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website which is 2crazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to do a keto full day of eating. Rachel had no idea. So she's laying in bed. I'm sorry. Drinking I'm just... her ginormous cup of coffee. What are you talking about? This is like a tiny size. This, yeah, but the, here's the thing. So I made a pot of coffee. Two of these mugs is an entire pot and she's already on her second one. And I'm still not quite awake. And you're not quite awake yet. <laughs> Too much caffeine. So I figured today we would do a full day of eating. I've got uh, to go do a couple of houses. I got to cut a couple of houses. Then I have to do the second dirtiest job in landscaping. Mulching. Mulching. You know what the first dirtiest job is? Laying sod. Laying sod. At least today though, we're not putting down red mulch. You know why I know these those, the answers to those two questions? Because you used to help. Well that and because I do the laundry. <laughs> And I know when you get home from that, like, it's like, oh my gosh, just throw the clothes away and start over. Yeah, usually when I lay sod, she was like, I oh, just throw that stuff out. We'll buy you new clothes. The best is when we get to a place to do um, mulch and we have forgotten gloves. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're literally caught red handed if you're laying red sod. Yeah, well, at least it we mean, mean red mulch. Yeah, red, I'm sorry, red mulch. Well, we're not laying red, red mulch sod. today. We're laying brown mulch, but it's still a pretty dirty job. Yeah. Then I'm going to get home. I'm going to make some dinner or some lunch slash dinner. What it are we is, having? Uh, I'm thinking about the jambalaya and something else. I'm uh, not quite sure yet. Okay. And then I have a football game tonight because it's Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. So we're going to kind of vlog throughout the day. We're going to vlog separately for a while because I've got work and Rachel's going to do some work at home right on the website. Yeah, but I shall like take a shower yeah. Put on some makeup and not be so, like, tired looking for you guys. I'm sorry. So the next time you see Rachel, she'll actually be awake. So here we go, guys. It's not great, but at least it's better than I looked when Joe caught me in bed this morning bringing me my coffee. So it is fall. You wouldn't know it in South Florida, but it is fall. So I'm going to sport the beige and brown today. I am really excited about my new shoes. I love, oh, sweet Lord, I need to vacuum. Um, but I got these new shoes. They're uh, Bob's for Dogs from Skechers, and they're super comfy and camo, and that's sort of going to be my, like, uh, fall palette this uh, season. It's going to be, like, the greens and browns. Um, I do like orange and yellow, but I look pretty horrible in those colors. So anyway, beige today. So we're picking up the trailer right now and I am starting my day with a grape zip fizz because I found last night I was like cramping while I was sleeping. So I'm obviously very low in electrolytes. And I also have a grapefruit Zevia energy drink. So between the two of these, I should have a good morning. So we've got lots of stuff to do this morning, but first I wanted to share this like amazing non-scale victory I've experienced. Um, I just wanna share how many days now I have gone without gum. One, one day I am like a business with a terrible safety record. I have gone back to chewing gum and not just like one stick a day, like crazy. Like I can go through a pack of gum a day. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I am going to just like 
fight the urge to purchase another pack of gum and eat it. But I don't know, it's like a stress thing for me. Maybe I should start smoking cigarettes to get myself off of gum. Hmm, that's probably not a good idea. The only thing that could make doing mulch worse is when you have to do it in the rain. So my adorable son, Anthony, who is 19 years old now, um, suggested that maybe me and him should do a craft together. It's kind of a stress reliever, mommy, son thing to do. And look at this adorable Mickey Mouse we're gonna sew. And then I just wanna share my like finished project. Yeah, that does not look like what it's supposed to look like for me. I didn't even get to the hands. There's like 50,000 stitches on this hands. But like, look at his poor face. And then I ran, I accidentally put the black string where the white string was supposed to be. So then I ran out of white string um, or black string on the back. And so, yeah, it, yeah, he's got a question mark on his butt. Like, what am I? So we've got 80 bags of mulch and all of this mulch has to go in this bed, which we sprayed yesterday, but I'm gonna spray it one more time as we lay down the mulch. Fortunately, it stopped raining because when we were getting the mulch, it was pouring. Tabitha, I am so excited because look at this. We finished all the laundry. Wait, wait, no. No, don't say it, don't say it. Oh my gosh, it's beginning again. So Tabitha has suddenly become just absolutely obsessed with boxes. So as soon as she finds a box, she is ripping it to shreds. And no matter how I try to keep up with vacuuming, we've got ripped cardboard everywhere. Wait, no, put it down. Why do you need to do this? Is this your gum? Is this like mommy has her gum thing? You're, you're like, you've turned to cardboard boxes. Is that, what, oh, do you need some moral support? All right, I'll keep cleaning up after them. It still amazes me after all of these years with just a little bit of mulch will do to clean up a piece of property. It also amazes me what Anthony and I can do in just 30 minutes when we put our mind to it. So I need to run to the store to grab some stuff for kids church this weekend. But before I leave the house, I want to have a little something, something. So I am making a, a scoop of this blue raspberry Ultima with a butt ton of ice and water to just kind of make a slushy. I love it. I don't know why. I just really like it in a slushy form. And then I like to top it with a, like a true lemon packet. It just makes it, I don't know, like frosty and sour. I just like sour stuff. I don't know why, but it's a thing and that's what I'm doing. So I'm done for the day. I'm over here near Lucky's and Rachel's been working really hard the last few weeks. So I'm gonna surprise her with a grass fed ribeye. Ooh, and their coffee is on sale. So we're gonna give her some coffee since we're almost out. Looks like we're getting New York strips because they're on sale for $6 off a pound. Look what's on sale. We're gonna be getting this. You think keto's taking over? So I found a pack of gum in my car that I didn't know I had. So guess how many days now that I've gone without gum? Yep, zero days. Okay, first meal of the day. It's lunchtime. It's like two o'clock. Did you have anything to eat today? I had an Ultima this morning and okay. some gum. And gum. <laughs> so Anthony and I worked and I had a Zevia energy drink and a Zip Fizz, which was back to back. So I had plenty of energy. Did you even take the truck or you just <laughs> ran home? We worked hard and we had to work in the rain off and on throughout the morning. So Florida. Uh, let's go over what we're going to eat. So I know Rachel's been working super hard. I filmed it. So I stopped. I was going to get a ribeye. Okay. But Lucky's had this grass-fed New York strip on sale. Nice. For like $6 off a pound. 
So we're wow. like, uh, ribeye, $15 a pound, New York strip, $8 a pound. We'll go with the New York strip. Let's do this. So I've got a half a pound of New York strip with some Vital Farms ghee on the top. I'm excited to try it. And then I've got some homemade cream spinach, which is just a bag of cream spinach. I put some butter in there, some heavy cream, and some cream cheese. Mm. And then I've got two of our keto brick peanut butter cup, brick, uh, like little pots. Which I really love, but like everybody has different tastes. So some people are like, I was expecting more peanut butter. I was expecting right. less peanut butter. So, I mean, all we can do is give our... Yeah, taste is really subjective. Yeah, taste. So what I've got is a little less of everything. No, you've got the same exact amount as me. The difference that Rachel has wow. is she's only got one keto brick puck. Well, that's okay. I got so, excited. But we got to split the steak in half. Awesome. So I'm going to go over my macros because we still have dinner, which we're going to eat probably in like three hours before I leave for my game. I okay. don't know about, is that when you're going to eat too? Yeah, no, that's good. Because I don't want to eat at 10 o'clock at night when I get home. No. So my lunch comes out to be 1,177 calories. <clears throat> and again, I'm allotted a total of 2,055 for the day. All right. Um, this is 58 grams of protein. It is 94 grams of fat. It is eight net carbs. Uh, all of the carbs are pretty much coming from the spinach. Which is where you want to And then there's from. a couple in the keto brick. I don't know exactly what the total carbs is. I will put it on the screen. And what do I have? Is this mine? Yeah. So I've got, it's, it's funny to just see the difference a puck will make. Yeah. So I've got 1,042 calories, 54.5 grams of, pro, uh, of protein, 6.5 net carbs, and 83.3 .3 grams of fat. <laughs> and a whole lot of deliciousness. Yeah, so this is going to be the biggest meal for us. I think your dinner, we, we've already done the dinner like in chronometer. And I think your dinner is only like 500 calories. But it will be a lot of food. I do better to like let me know what's happening. And then that way, there's no question. Like yeah. it's something for me to look forward to. So, Well, that is lunch. We will check back in at dinner time. See ya. So I ran into Target really quickly to pick up some things for kids ministry this weekend and oh my goodness, their little dollar spot section at the front of their store has the cutest stuff for fall. I found this ornament and they had a whole bunch of other ones that were just like ornaments that you would give to somebody to say you're so thankful for them in your life. I love them. Just a dollar. They're wooden. They're really nice actually. Um, they also had these little grateful jars they were just three dollars a piece and they have all these little cards that are prompts that you could either use as a game or you could use them as a writing prompt talking about all of the different things that they're grateful for some of them were as easy as i'm grateful for my room i'm grateful for my bedspread i'm grateful for my favorite movie it was just awesome for just three dollars and this other gratitude jar uh, talks about today I will and they're just prompts for daily mindfulness and um, some of them were as easy as look at this one on this leaf um, consider my words before I speak today I will make a new friend at school today I just love these for just three dollars there's something great that I'm going to use in kids ministry Okay, it's dinner time. It's like 4.30. I've got to hurry up and eat because I have to be out the door by 5.30 for my Friday night football game. Which doesn't make me sad because we've got a very small eating window, which means I'm going to be full after this meal. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually not hungry at all, but I don't want to eat at 10.30 at night. So no. I'm hoping I can kind of get this down and then like have about 45 minutes to digest it. I don't have to actually be on the field until 6.40. So... Got a couple of hours to get it in. Let's go over what we got to eat real quick. I have two scrambled eggs and one extra yolk. Yeah, two eggs and one yolk because that brings up the fat, keeps the protein lower. Mm-hmm. And then I think there's a half a tablespoon of butter in here too. Yeah, Rachel likes to take the butter and actually put it in the Vitamix with the eggs, but then we don't put any butter in the pan. But that way I don't lose any of it because it's all inside the egg. And all we do is really just take the egg and she puts it in the pan. We put it on very low heat, put a cover on it, and it just kind of raises up a little bit. She doesn't scramble it or anything like that. And then I've got what? Uh, it's one, one slice of that. 
that sprouts bacon that we bought, the uncured bacon, but I cut it in half so I can cook it in the air fryer. It comes out perfect in the air fryer. It's nice and crunchy. And then I have half a serving of keto chow. Yeah. It's the keto chow ice cream that we made in a blender. Mm -hmm. We have a recipe coming out for that in a couple of days. Yeah. And then um, we use cookies and cream. So for me, I have three eggs, plus I have um, two egg yolks, two egg yolks, mm -hmm. and then a half a tablespoon of butter. I've got two slices of that bacon, and then I have a half a serving of the keto chow ice cream. You really have to show those eggs again. What is the difference between getting the pasture raised eggs versus any other egg? Look at how orange it is. Yeah, look how is. orange that is. Now, Rachel's are pasture raised too, but it's got the butter blended in where mine doesn't, so that makes hers a little bit less yellow. Yeah. But yeah, the pasture raised, super, super it's yellow. It's almost orange. Now, you have an upside down bottle of ketchup. I'm next trying to us. get the last little bit. I probably got about a half a tablespoon maybe left of this spicy ketchup. And I love ketchup on my eggs. I know, I'm weird. You're either a ketchup person or you're not a ketchup person. Are you eggs. a ketchup person? Let, Let us, us know, know down in the description. Do you like ketchup on your eggs? Do you not like ketchup on the eggs? I'm a no ketchup on the eggs girl. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna go over my macros real quick because I think I'm gonna eat my ice cream first because it's already melting. Okay, so the macros for this meal for me, 903 total calories, 50 grams of fat, 75 grams of, oh, I'm sorry, 50 grams of protein, 75 okay. grams of fat, it's 3.8 grams of net carbs. My total for the day, and I'll put these across the screen as well, 2,080 calories. My goal is 2,055, so that's pretty, pretty close. close. Um, I'd get 109 grams of fat, of protein out of 114. I've got 11.8 net carbs. But remember, we're not counting the fiber carbs that come out of spinach. We said any of the whole foods, we're not gonna count that. Right. And then I've got 170 grams of fat out of 171 grams of fat. So wow. pretty much nailed the day. Nailed it. Okay. So for me, this meal is 456 calories. It's got 30 grams of protein, 1.7 net carbs, and 36.7 grams of fat. And my total for today is my goal was uh, 1,501 calories. We went a little bit over with 1,549, but we're, pre we're in the ballpark. Um, I have, I'm right at my protein. My protein was supposed to be 79 grams of protein. And for the day, I'm at 84, so a little bit over. Yep. My net carbs are 8.2 out of 15 potential um, net carbs. So I'm really happy with that if I'm going to be under somewhere. And my goal was 125 grams of fat, and we're at 125 grams of fat. So high Good five. Job. 100%. So yeah, pretty much all of the, the, so the fiber, the only bad fiber, I wouldn't say bad fiber, like stuff, net carb that you wouldn't take out is whatever was in the keto brick pucks. Okay. And then the keto chow ice cream. And for each of us, that's three carbs. Okay. So, and then any other fiber that we had that we so would good. actually take out because it's from the spinach and that kind from whole foods, which right. we said we we're going to deduct fiber out of whole foods. Mm -hmm. In addition to this, I still actually have one, I think one. One, two keto brick pucks okay. that I may or may not eat. I, I'm, I know I need to get them in because the idea for this, we're still in the middle, we're in the middle of this like um, reverse diet. So I do need to get them in. I just really don't want to eat them after my game. So I may eat them at halftime of my game. That's smart. Compromise. So, so that is it. This was day five of our reverse uh, diet that mm -hmm. we're doing with Keto Savage. So far, so good. I'm enjoying it. It's definitely making me realize that, um, like, it's really hard to keep your protein low and keep your fat up when you're trying to hit a certain fat macro. It also makes me realize that uh, the little extras, like, oh, I'm going to have a, a handful of this here, a handful of that there, it adds up quickly. Mm -hmm. Like, you can really blow your meal plan unless you're you're tracking it. Yeah. And I will say this. So far, scale has actually gone down for me by about a pound. Mine has gone up. I'm, I, I got on the scale and it was 148. But it was, uh, it, wait, it was at a certain, it was at like 146, 147. Then it went down and it went back up. That's just water. It's a female issue. We're just tracking every single day to see like, does it go up steadily or is it staying the same? Is it up? If it goes up like this, we're good. Instead, we just don't want to see this. Instead of numbers, it should be happy face and, and then sad face. So. Today, today was very disgruntled face. Well, that is our video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. This is kind of how we're eating yeah. on our uh, reverse diet. 
And we'll try to keep a bunch of these going, at least one a week, maybe. Just so you know what we're doing. Just so you can kind of see what we're eating, trying to keep it simple, but at the same time, having a good time with it. Yeah. So do us a favor, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.